Ever wondered how Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer became a Christmas symbol? This question has piqued the curiosity of many, especially during the holiday season. Rudolph, with his shiny nose, is more than just a character in a song or a story. He's a symbol of Christmas, a beacon of hope, and a testament to the power of being different. Rudolph's journey from a simple storybook character to an iconic Christmas symbol is both fascinating and inspiring. Unique Reindeer didn't just appear out of thin air. He was, in fact, the brainchild of a humble copywriter named Robert Elmay. You heard that, right? Rudolph was born out of the imagination of a man who was tasked with creating a Christmas-themed story to attract customers to a department store. Little did May know that his creation would transcend its commercial origins and become a beloved Christmas tradition celebrated worldwide. Rudolph is no ordinary reindeer. His red nose, which once made him the subject of ridicule, became his defining feature, guiding Santa's sleigh through the darkest, foggiest Christmas Eve. Tale of acceptance and triumph over adversity resonates with many, making Rudolph a cherished figure in the festive season. Rudolph is celebrated in numerous ways, immortalized in songs, films, and countless pieces of merchandise. His image adorns Christmas decorations, his story is read in homes across the globe, and his song echoes through shopping malls and holiday parties. Despite his humble beginnings, Rudolph has indeed soared high, his red nose shining brightly in the realm of Christmas folklore. But how did Rudolph go from being a promotional gimmick to a Christmas symbol that has stood the test of time? How did a reindeer with a red nose come to symbolize the spirit of Christmas? It's a story filled with twists and turns, a tale as enchanting as Christmas itself. Let's dive into the story of how Rudolph came to be, shall we? Rudolph was born not in the North Pole, but in the mind of a creative writer. A man named Robert L. May, to be precise. The year was 1939, and the world was on the brink of war. But in the heart of America, in the bustling city of Chicago, a different kind of creation was taking place. Robert L. May, a copywriter for the department store Montgomery Ward, was tasked with a rather unusual assignment that year. The store wanted to create a promotional Christmas booklet to distribute to its customers. The objective was simple, design a character that children would love and tell a story that would encapsulate the magic of Christmas. The result? The birth of a red-nosed reindeer named Rudolph. Spent countless hours crafting the character of Rudolph, weaving a tale of a misfit reindeer with a glowing red nose. He was different from the rest and initially this difference made him the subject of ridicule among his peers. But as the story unfolds, Rudolph's radiant nose becomes the beacon of hope on a foggy Christmas Eve, leading Santa's sleigh and saving Christmas for children around the world. First Rudolph booklet was a hit. Montgomery Ward distributed over 2 million copies in its first year alone. Children were captivated by the story and parents were touched by its underlying message that being different isn't something to be ashamed of, but rather, it's something to be celebrated. The reindeer with the red nose became a symbol of hope and acceptance, a bright light in a world often clouded by darkness. Rudolph was no longer just a character in a story, he was a Christmas icon, a beacon of resilience, and a testament to the power of embracing one's uniqueness. And just like that, Rudolph was brought to life, but his journey was only just beginning. As we'll see, Rudolph's story doesn't end with the closing of a book, rather, it takes flight, soaring from the written page into the hearts and minds of millions, cementing his place in Christmas lore forever. But that, dear listeners, is a tale for our next scene. The world was first introduced to the little reindeer with a shiny nose through a charming story. This simple narrative, penned by Robert L. May, was about a young reindeer named Rudolph, whose glowing red nose made him an outcast among his peers. But this unique trait, which he once considered a curse, turned out to be a blessing in disguise. Tail unfurls in the harsh winters of the North Pole, where he lived with the other reindeers. They were all part of Santa's team, except Rudolph, who was never chosen because of his unusual red nose. However, on one fateful Christmas Eve, a thick fog descended, putting Christmas at risk. It was then that Santa turned to Rudolph, whose radiant nose could cut through the dense fog like a beacon of hope. Rudolph led Santa's sleigh that night, delivering presents to children worldwide and saving Christmas. Story of Rudolph, the misfit reindeer who turned into a hero, resonated with children and adults alike. It was a tale of courage, acceptance, and the power of uniqueness. It taught us that what makes us different can often be our greatest strength. This message, wrapped in a heartwarming story set in the magical world of Santa and his reindeers, was bound to captivate hearts. And it did, becoming an instant hit. Rudolph's story was shared in homes, schools, and libraries spreading like wildfire. Children looked forward to hearing it every Christmas, and adults found joy in narrating it. The little reindeer with the shiny nose had become a beloved figure, a symbol of Christmas, and an icon of hope and resilience. In no time, Rudolph had become more than just a story. He was a beacon of light in the darkest winter nights, 
a symbol of hope, a testament to the power of being different, and above all, the hero who saved Christmas. Rudolph had successfully captured the hearts of many, but his fame was about to reach new heights. Rudolph wasn't just confined to the pages of a book, he soon found his way to the silver screen. The year was 1948 when Rudolph trotted from the written page to the flickering lights of the cinema. It was Max Fleischer, a pioneer of the American animation industry, who undertook the task of bringing Rudolph to life in an entirely new medium. Max Fleischer was no stranger to creating beloved characters. Remember Popeye the Sailor? Betty Boop? Yeah, that was him. He, he had a knack for creating characters that resonated with audiences, and Rudolph was no different. Short film, titled Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, was a visual feast, packed with charm and emotion. The film was a testament to Fleischer's skill and the enduring appeal of Rudolph's story. The production of the film was a meticulous process. Fleischer's team painstakingly drew each frame, capturing Rudolph's journey in a way that words alone could not. The details from the twinkle in Rudolph's red nose to the snowflakes falling gently in the background were all hand-drawn with an attention to detail that was nothing short of astounding. When the film hit the theaters, it was a roaring success. Audiences loved seeing Rudolph in this new light, and the film only served to further popularize the character. It was a shining example of how a story can transcend its original medium and find success in another. Film success wasn't just a win for Fleischer and his team, but it was a win for Rudolph, too. It proved that his story had a universal appeal, reaching beyond the pages of a book and into the hearts of moviegoers. It cemented Rudolph's place in popular culture, making him more than just a character in a story, but a symbol of the holiday season. Rudolph had made his mark in the world of cinema, but his most iconic moment was yet to come. As we'll see, Rudolph's journey was far from over. A humble storybook character to a movie star, Rudolph was well on his way to becoming a legend, but the best was still to come. Stay stay tuned as we delve into how a simple song transformed Rudolph into a cultural icon. Every legend needs an anthem, and Rudolph's was about to be written. As the tale of Rudolph began to capture hearts, a melodious accompaniment was brewing in the mind of one Johnny Marks. Now, who was Johnny Marks you ask? Well, he happened to be Robert May's brother-in-law. Robert May? if you recall, the creator of our endearing shiny nose character, Rudolph. An accomplished songwriter was inspired by the whimsical story of Rudolph. He set out to create a tune that would encapsulate the charm and magic of this unique reindeer, and boy did he succeed. The song aptly named Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer was a beautiful blend of melody and story, a lyrical manifestation of Rudolph's journey. Now, let's talk about the song's impact. To say it was popular would be an understatement. The song was a sensation a Christmas mega-hit that resonated with people of all ages. It was played in homes, at holiday parties, in shopping malls, practically everywhere you went during the holiday season. It was as if the song had cast a Christmas spell across the nation, and Rudolph was at the heart of it all. But the song did more than just dominate the airwaves, it played a pivotal role in transforming Rudolph from a storybook character into a Christmas icon. The catchy tune, the heartwarming lyrics, they brought Rudolph to life in a way no storybook could. It gave him a voice, a personality, and most importantly, it gave him a place in our Christmas traditions. The song's popularity didn't fade with time. Decades later, it's still a staple of Christmas music, still bringing joy and spreading the tale of our favorite red-nosed reindeer. So in essence, the song was more than just a tune. It was the anthem that turned a story into a legend, a reindeer into an icon, and a character into a cherished part of our holiday celebrations. With the song, Rudolph's fame skyrocketed, forever cementing his place as a beloved holiday figure. Decades have passed, but Rudolph's charm remains undimmed. This endearing character with his luminous nose continues to illuminate the spirit of Christmas, glittering brightly in the hearts of millions around the globe. Even today, Rudolph stands as a symbol of resilience and uniqueness, his story resonating with both the young and the young at heart. Over the years, Rudolph's image has graced everything from holiday decorations to children's books, and from apparel to video games, making him an ever-present figure during the festive season. The market is replete with Rudolph-themed merchandise, plush toys, ornaments, stockings, and so much more. His image is inescapable, adorning shop windows and twinkling from Christmas trees, a constant reminder of the joy and magic of the holiday season. Rudolph's tale has been adapted into numerous forms, each rendition adding its own unique touch to the original narrative. From animated television specials and feature films to stage musicals and storybooks, 
Rudolph's journey from outcast to hero is retold time and again, captivating new generations with its timeless message. The world of digital entertainment too hasn't been immune to Rudolph's charm. Video games featuring our red-nosed friend have found a place in the hearts of gamers, allowing them to become part of Rudolph's magical world. The character's appeal has transcended traditional media, finding resonance in the virtual landscape as well. And then there's the music. The iconic song, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, continues to be a staple on holiday playlists, its familiar melody filling homes with cheer every Christmas. Cover versions by various artists have kept the song alive and relevant, ensuring that Rudolph's story is sung around the world, year after year. From a promotional character to a beloved Christmas icon, Rudolph's journey has been nothing short of magical. His tale of acceptance and bravery continues to inspire, his image evoking a sense of warmth and nostalgia. As long as there is Christmas, there will be Rudolph, his red nose leading the way through the darkest winters, spreading light and joy in its wake. Rudolph's tale is a reminder of the power of stories and how they can create enduring symbols. It's a journey that began all the way back in 1939 with a simple children's book. Born from the imagination of Robert L. May, Rudolph the Little Reindeer with the shiny red nose quickly captured hearts around the world. Started as a promotional gimmick for a department store became a symbol of Christmas cheer and an emblem of resilience and uniqueness. Rudolph's leap from the printed page to the silver screen in 1964 further solidified his place in popular culture. As he soared through the night sky on our television screens, guiding Santa's sleigh with his radiant nose, Rudolph became more than just a story. He became a holiday tradition, a character children and adults alike could look forward to seeing each year as the Christmas season rolled around. But the journey didn't stop there. The song, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, penned by Johnny Marks, took the world by storm. Its catchy tune and heartwarming lyrics immortalizing Rudolph's tale turned this humble reindeer into a legend. The song has since been covered by countless artists and is a staple in holiday playlists across the globe, further embedding Rudolph in our collective Christmas consciousness. Fast forward to today, and Rudolph's influence is undeniable. His story continues to inspire reminding us all that our differences make us special. Rudolph-themed decorations adorn homes and streets during the festive season, his image is used in advertisements, on holiday cards and in countless pieces of merchandise. He's become synonymous with the spirit of Christmas, a beacon of light in the darkest of winters. So the next time you hear the jingle of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, remember the story of this beloved character and the joy he continues to bring to the holiday season.